first thing we do is we go up to import media and select the still picture from our picture collection that then appears down in the media pool and take it up and put it on the timeline put it on the video overlay line here but it doesn't matter and then we go click on FX and then select pan crop now what we first of all do is decide where the first frame wants to be move it up so you can see what's happening first frame wants to be fairly small just with the sun in the corner there having decided the first frame we then click on end and this then will set up what will be the end frame having done that we then click on close and we're all set so now run the video what, what the software will do is we'll take the difference between the beginning and the end frame and make out the gap brilliant isn't it now what you can also do is change the speed it operates if you shrink it up it goes faster and if you stretch it out it takes longer as you can see very slow indeed now right so we'll delete that and then I'll show you how to um, do panning as opposed to zooming start off with a fresh one again again up on the video overlay no reason to put it there just it's more convenient having it there you can see better again go to pan and crop now this time we'll reduce the size down but instead of starting in the center we'll move it to the side So we get the boats and, and the sunset. So that will be our first frame. Then click on end. And then we then set up our last frame. Keep it at the same size this time. Now we've got to be careful to keep it lined up horizontally. You can use those by those lines there you see to keep it exactly the same. Click on close and then run it run it. So it pans across beautifully and just like before you can change the um, speed by just simply stretching or closing up the uh, strip of video. Mm -hmm.